When Smallville ended in 2011, it felt like we were all ready to move on to bigger things. Superman and all his friends had once again become big screen heroes, and the CW was gearing up for a new age of superhero shows like Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. Even the cast of Smallville seemed poised for bulletproof careers outside the borders of their little town in Kansas. Now that the hit show's been off the air for more than half a decade, Yes, really. Let's take a look at where some of the biggest stars of Smallville are now. Tom Welling For a few years, it seemed like Smallville was going to be the start of a long acting career for its lead, Tom Welling. Playing Smallville's Clark Kent was Welling's first major role, but he soon secured parts in the Steve Martin comedy Cheaper by the Dozen and the 2005 horror remake The Fog. And then… crickets. For the next six years, Tom Welling only appeared in Smallville. And since the show went off the air, he's only appeared in three films, Parkland in 2013, Draft Day in 2014, and The Choice in 2016, all of which received mixed reviews and did nothing to reboot Welling's declining status as an actor. Here's hoping Welling's career gets a second wind so he can take flight once again. Allison Mack Long before playing journalist Chloe Sullivan in Smallville, Allison Mack was a common fixture on TV. She's had steady work on both television shows and TV movies since 1989, and after the end of Smallville, Mack took a recurring role in the FX show Wilfred and American Odyssey. So she's certainly been busy, but even so, the actress has also found time for off-screen projects like her singing career. Kristen Kruk after years of playing Lana Lang on Smallville, Kristen Kruk decided to take leave of the show in 2009 because she felt there was more she could be doing. The actress was 19 when she first appeared in the role, and when she left the show seven years later, it was still pretty much her only major part. Unfortunately, the decision might not have been as wise as she hoped because she went on to star in the box office bomb Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li. From there, she surfed through a handful of low-key roles before finally returning to CW with a recurring arc in Beauty and the Beast. Michael Rosenbaum there's no doubt that Michael Rosenbaum gave the character of Lex Luthor just the right amount of charm and likability to contrast the darkness within. This is Smallville! Meteor freaks, alien ships, cryptic symbols… these threats are real. Perhaps the reason he was such a good match for the DC Universe is that he'd been a part of it before and stuck around afterward, too. He'd also done voice work for the animated series Batman Beyond, and during Smallville's run, he went on to voice The Flash in the animated Justice League series. Overall, Rosenbaum's career has been marked more by voice acting than physical acting, so while you might not see him as much anymore, keep those ears peeled, because he's still as busy as ever. John Glover Lionel Luther, Lex's dad, was the main baddie in the earlier seasons of Smallville, a role perfectly fitting for John Glover. Although he's often tried to avoid being typecast as a villain, he just seems to keep getting tossed in those roles. After all, he was the slimy advertising guy in RoboCop 2, the evil Jason Woodrow in Batman and Robin, and even the devil himself in 1998's Brimstone. On top of that, he's voiced the Riddler in a long run of animated DC shows. Hey, when you've got it, you've got it. Erica Durance Smallville took its sweet time to bring Lois Lane into the fold, but in season four, actress Erica Durance finally introduced the street-smart reporter to the show. Like her on-screen persona, Durance fit the bill of being smart, capable, and slightly neurotic. Outside of Smallville, though, the Canadian actress hasn't had the best of luck. She's mostly appeared in a string of B-movies like the video game flop House of the Dead and the completely ignored Butterfly Effect 2, along with a smattering of small roles in various TV shows, including a long-lasting turn in the CTV medical drama Saving Hope. So she's still showing the same sort of gumption that made her right for Lois. Annette O'Toole Smallville marked the second time that Annette O'Toole fell into the world of Clark Kent, the first being her stint as Lana Lang in 1983's Superman 3, which means that in the course of her career, she's played both Clark Kent's girlfriend and his mom. I suppose I have to face it, I'm not gonna find what I want in Smallville anymore." She left Smallville after the sixth season, but returned in 2010 for two more cameo episodes before returning to small roles in other shows, TV movies, and stage plays. John Schneider the actor portraying Jonathan Kent, Clark's dad, was a busy working actor long before he ventured into Smallville. He most famously played Bo Duke, one half of the duo on the original Dukes of Hazard, and had a long-running role on Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. His post-Smallville career has been just as prolific. 
Justin Hartley. Before Oliver Green Arrow Queen got his own show, the hooded hero regularly appeared on Smallville. In this version, Queen was portrayed by Justin Hartley, who, like much of the younger cast of the show, counted this as his first big role. Prior to getting cast as Oliver Queen, though, Justin Hartley was actually slated to star in an Aquaman series on The CW, and even filmed the pilot before the show was dropped. Judging by the trailer, it's probably a good thing the network decided to pass on Aquaman, because sometimes the world just isn't ready for a bleach blonde surfer who fights crime. Hartley has since returned to the TV spotlight as Kevin on NBC's hit dramedy This Is Us. Cassidy Freeman as Tess Mercer in Smallville, Cassidy Freeman got to venture into some very weird territory as the CEO of Luther Corp, who's actually Lex's sister. It was an unforgettable twist, to be sure, and that tends to be the case whenever Freeman takes on even a small role, like her turns as Jack in Once Upon a Time and a 400-year-old bloodsucker in The Vampire Diaries. Since Smallville wrapped, Freeman found new work on Longmire. Aaron Ashmore this former child star, and identical twin to Sean of X-Men fame, became a series regular as Jimmy Olsen, the Daily Planet photographer who was engaged to Chloe. Never a household name, Aaron Ashmore nevertheless mustered enough star power to take the lead role in a handful of low-budget horror movies, like 2009's Fear Island and 2010's The Shrine before joining the main cast for sci-fi's well-received show Killjoys. He might still be a little jealous of his look-alike sibling, though, because at least he got to play with some sci-fi powers. But what are you gonna do? Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!